I cut my own side swept bangs. I feel like they look pretty good because before my hair was like pretty long around my face and I felt like it was weighing my hair down and kind of looked a little flat. So I went a little bit of more body and I decided I'm gonna do my side bangs myself. They're not 100% even, but they're pretty good. I think I might just start cutting my own hair in general. Anyway, you guys probably know that recently I did a whole video on my Montguerlain's and after I did that, I thought, why not do a whole collection review? I have a whole bunch of fragrances from Guerlain and I figured it's worthwhile to talk about every single one briefly and give you an overview of the whole collection. And I think I'll be doing this for every house that I own many fragrances of. So I'll be doing a YSL collection review, Joe Malone, and let me know which other house collection reviews you guys would wanna see. But we're gonna start with Guerlain because I think I have the most from them. So very briefly, I'm gonna go through all the Mont Guerlain's, even though I already mentioned them in the Mont Guerlain video, which I'll link at the top for you guys. Like I pretty much have all of them. I don't have the Floral, but I have the Eau Sensual, which smells exactly like the original Mont Guerlain that I have a special edition of in the gold bottle. It's a beautiful lavender vanilla. Everybody knows this fragrance, so I'm not gonna talk much about it. I got those. I've got the Eau de Toilette. The Eau de Toilette is a little bit more lavender centric, so it's a little bit lighter and I like it more in the spring and summer. It's not as heavy, it's less sweet, and also a very nice flanker. My favorite that you guys already know is the Bloom of Rose, which I always talk about. It's very underrated. I just talked about it in my 10 out of 10 fragrances and this to me is perfect. It works really well on my skin. The added rose note in this is that special touch that I needed, that I needed something more from Mont Guerlain and this gave it to me. Also, somewhat recently, I got the 2020 release, the Eau de Parfum, which is more sweet rose and it's a little bit more rose centric. So less like the original Mont Guerlain of all of them, this is probably the most different. And those are all of my Mont Guerlain's. Next, the La Petite Robe Noire. I've talked about this one as well. This is the Eau Fraiche. This is very similar to the original La Petite Robe Noire, except it's lighter, airier, more citrusy, and it has a really nice fresh pistachio note. It has a little bit of nuttiness. This actually reminds me a little bit of Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche and I have the Omnia Green Jade. Like they're all in the same vein. They're like those very light, slightly citrusy fresh. But to me, this is more unique than the other two I just mentioned. This one, I get a lot of compliments on. I love it for the office. It has a certain very fresh nutty scent along with the La Petite Robe Noir DNA with the cherry, with the almond. It's a great flanker. It's one of my favorites from that whole line. So I have a backup bottle that's 100 ml and I got that on Fragrance Net. The next one is the La Petite Robe Noire Eau de Toilette, which I got a refill bottle of, but I keep it in this bottle that I got on Amazon with this little old school atomizer, which is super cute and I really like this. It goes totally with the pink theme, super cute. Life hack, you guys, if you can get refill bottles like this and it comes with a little funnel for you to pour it into your own bottle, they are way cheaper, way, way, way cheaper. So this 100 ml was $30. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of brands that offer refill bottles. Mugler has refill bottles. I've seen a whole bunch of brands have refill bottles. Chloe. Like you just have to keep an eye out. If you can get a refill bottle, it will be significantly cheaper. And that one as well, I got on fragrancenet.com. So we all know the La Petite Robe Noire. I'm not gonna go into it too much. It's a playful, sweet, cherry almond type of uh, scent. I also have the Intense. The Intense has blueberry and cotton candy and this is sweeter. It doesn't have cherry, it has blueberry. It has a sweet airiness about it. I wore it on New Year's and it filled the room. It was beautiful for a night out and I love it for going out. It's a really flirty, playful, nice sweet fragrance. It's not overpoweringly sweet. It's great. It's 
it's probably my second favorite from the La Petite Robe Noirs that I have. That name is way too long for me to keep saying it. So we're just gonna go with the flanker name. The next one is Black Perfecto Floral. This is leather and cherry. So like the original with a blast of leather. And this scent like makes me think of, you know the movie Grease, Sandy at the end of that movie when she became like badass Sandy. This is what the smell reminds me of, that, that edgy leather jacket image, but still very feminine and sexy. And so yeah, I don't have the original Black Perfecto, I just have the floral, it has more rose and floral notes as you would probably assume. It's a really good one and it's also very easy to find. Most of these I found on FragranceNet. My favorite sites to shop at are FragranceNet and Fragrance Buy. I do notice that FragranceNet has really good prices on Guerlain fragrances. The next one in my collection is Idil. This was recommended by you guys when I was talking about lilac fragrances and it's a beautiful lilac fragrance that I wore a lot in the spring. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, but I wore it a bit. It also has a very strong Lily of the Valley note. So to me, this isn't lilac dominated. It's a really nice floral scent that I definitely pick up the lilac, but it is a lot more to me about the Lily of the Valley. Still a really nice fresh scent, um, a little bit mature leaning, but beautiful. I also pick up a strong jasmine note just in the initial blast, like just as I sprayed it in the air. I really pick up that jasmine note, but when it dries down, it is really, for me, more about the lily of the valley and lilac. Really pretty springtime and like early summer fragrance for me. On the note of springtime, summertime fragrances, one that I actually wore through a lot is the Tea Asura. I love a nice tea note. This is a really fresh green tea scent. It smells a little bit like a jasmine green tea. It also has a note of chamomile, which adds that herbal floral quality to it. Really nice citrus notes. There's bergamot, lemon, like fresh citrus yuzu, I believe as well. And it's not very long lasting, but it's a beautiful fragrance and my favorite tea scent. Like specifically the tea note I'm obsessed with in this. So yeah, even though it's not very long lasting, it's a great refresher and I use up a lot. Like I used, all of this because I just spray 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 all over the place with this one it's light enough that you can spray and spray and it won't get overwhelming and that's the only one that I have from the aqua allegoria line so if you guys have one that you think is amazing let me know I do know that these tend to be not very long lasting from the aqua allegoria so I've been hesitant to get more I just love tea so I got the tea asura but let me know which one you recommend and which one's worth owning because I will definitely get it the next ones I have here are L'Instant de Guerlain and I have the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum. I wanted to get them in the pre-B bottle formulation. I don't know if the formulation changed. I'm assuming that it did. So I just wanted to get them in the old bottles, which I succeeded. They are extremely similar to me. I'm gonna spray them on paper because I'm filling up the room with all the air spraying. I've heard people say that they pick up a urine note in here, but I do not. I actually think it's a really pretty honeyed floral and vanilla. And honestly, they are extremely similar to me. The scent here is like a very cozy, enveloping, fluffy fragrance. To me, it smells fluffy and soft. I think the Eau de Parfum I prefer because it's warmer, it's a little bit sweeter and like more buttery, much more rich. And it reminds me a little bit of the uh, by Killian Voulez-vous coucher avec moi, except that one has more of a, like an animal, like almost a little bit of a soapiness as well, whereas this one does not. It's more just a sweet, honeyed, vanilla and floral, really nice scent. Like, I would imagine a really nice teacher smelling like this, like at school, maybe your favorite teacher who's always very sweet and gentle. Like it smells like what your favorite teacher would smell like. Yeah, so that's L'Instant de Guerlain and both of them. But if I had to pick one, I would go for the EDP because I think that I do pick up a little bit more of that like, it's not urine and on the skin it doesn't smell like urine, but there is that like, little bit of a sour smell that exists in the EDT 
it doesn't bother me when I wear it and I don't smell it when I wear it, but I like the richness of the EDP. The difference isn't like that outstanding. I don't necessarily think it's worth owning both. They are similar enough not to have to own both. I'm saving my special guys for last, so you have to stay tuned to see my rare and special ones. The next one is Leur Bleu, and this is the Eau de Toilette as well. This is a classic, really pretty iris scent, but to me, it is a little bit outdated for me to wear. It's still a beautiful scent. It's a gorgeous classic, but I don't find myself reaching for it very much. You may notice that the bottle is about half full. That's because I've decanted it for people, but personally, I haven't worn it very much. I've worn it on a few evenings and it makes for a really nice evening scent when you're hanging out at home, at least for me. And I see this being a great fragrance to wear to bed and to wear at night when maybe you're hanging out by yourself, having a glass of wine. It does have a little bit of like a melancholy vibe to it. It smells a little bit lonely to me. It's like a, a little bit of a sad iris it's powdery it's beautiful it's really nice but it's not an uplifting scent for me i haven't tried the edp version so i don't know how they compare so if you guys know comment down below and let me know and let me know which one you prefer if you've tried both i do like it i'm gonna own it as a reference point but i just happen to not reach for it very often myself the next one is a Shalimar flanker, and this is Shalimar Soufflé de Lumière. This is a very nice, light, but kind of a bossy scent. I like wearing this to work. It's citrusy. It's got that original Shalimar vibe. It has a really nice, rich benzoin in here. And that original Shalimar DNA, but light. I can't wear the original Shalimar on me. I swear it smells like bug spray. I am sorry, but it just does not vibe with me. It kind of smells like gasoline and bug spray, and this doesn't. This is gorgeous, and it works for me. It kind of smells like a lemon vanilla cake, like a like a lemony, light, fluffy souffle. Like that's that's actually kind of what it smells like. But a great office scent, like. I really love wearing this one to work and I haven't tried the original souffle. So again, if you guys have, let me know. I'm looking to broaden my Guermont collection. So tell me what to buy. You know what I'm gonna do on a whim? I think I'm gonna do a poll on my Instagram so you guys can follow me at The Scented and maybe if I can do a poll through YouTube, I'll do it as well and you guys can tell me what my next Guerlain purchase should be. I don't think I'm ready to buy one of the exclusives yet, but from their designer line, you guys need to tell me what my next Guerlain should be. And in the next few videos, probably in the beginning of 2021, I'll let you know which one I ended up getting when I do a haul. So that'll be a fun little game we can play. On that note, we're reaching the end and I have like three or four more fragrances. Shalimar Parfum Initial. This is the iris that I can wear. I love this and I prefer this over the iris and the kind of composition of Leur Bleu. This one smells classic, but I can wear it. And it also smells a lot like Dior Homme. This is a very makeup-y iris. It's a very soft and doesn't smell sad to me like this just smells very chilled out and i think this is totally unisex i know this is continued and pretty much impossible to find at this point i got very lucky and so i do have this bottle it's gonna be a shame when it runs out it's a gorgeous like lipsticky makeupy iris scent i really enjoy this shalimar flanker i don't actually see a similarity between this one and the original shalimar at all. I have one men's fragrance, which I wasn't sure whether I should mention or not, but it's part of my collection, so why not? And it is the L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum. This one I really like. It's nice leather scent. It's got some cherry. It's mostly leather, and I love leather. You guys know how much I love leather. So it's beautiful. I like it on men. I like it on myself. I haven't tried the newer flankers of L'Homme Ideal, but this is my favorite of the lineup, I guess, pre-2019. I haven't tried anything after that. Now, 
my newest two that I got and I saved these two because they're a little bit similar, but not exactly. So I just got Terracotta Le Parfum. I've been looking for this one for a while. I didn't see it on online retailers. So I got it from Shoppers Drug Mart online because they sent me a coupon for $20 off. So I, I just, I snagged it up. So it ended up costing me like 70 bucks, which isn't bad for a hundred mil. And I have it on already. So I'll spray it again. This is such a nice vacation scent. Like this makes me smile and it makes me happy. And it makes me think of being on a nice sunny beach and like classy. This isn't like a sunscreen scent to me at all. I know this smells like their terracotta powder, which I don't own. And I don't actually know what it smells like. I've just read that. And it actually, it says so on the back of the box. And that's how I know that, but I haven't smelled the powder. This does have a strong jasmine note. I know everybody says, oh, it's tiari flower, it's tiari flower. For me, in the beginning, it's a strong burst of jasmine and that like slightly animalic, indolic jasmine that I think could put people off. So beware of that because it does come out in the beginning and it reminds me a little bit of the jasmine in Serge Lutin à la nuit. It's like, it's that animalic jasmine, if you guys know what I mean. It does go away and it settles into a really beautiful tiare flower with some coconut and right now it's still, I'm still getting a lot of the jasmine, but I had it on from before. So I remember how it develops and it has ylang. I believe it has tuberose as well. It's that classic type of like, vacation flowers type of smell. And I had a lotion, not a lotion, a dry body oil from Yves Rocher before, and it was called the Monoi oil. If you guys know which one I'm talking about, I'll put it up on the screen. This does remind me of that oil in the dry down. And it's just a very, very happy scent because I used to take that oil on vacation with me all the time. Like this is what I imagine Hawaii smells like. And I've never been, so I don't know. Finally, I got, and it's still in the packaging, but I'll take it out. Have you guys ever heard of Maora? Maora from Guerin. I didn't know about it until recently, and I went searching for it online, and I found it at Parfumerie Eternelle, and I got it, and I think it was like 85 bucks. This, like, this bottle is so unique, and the way that it sprays, like you have to twist it, and then you can, press it and then it'll spray. I don't want to spray it now because guys, this fills a room. This actually fills my entire house. I had sprayed it before on a piece of paper. I was just keeping it in the box for safekeeping. But when I first got it and sprayed it, oh my God, there is nothing that I own except for maybe Oud Satin Mood that fills a room the way that this does. It's a monster and it's a classic white floral scent. It is extremely tuberose heavy, like tuberose before anything. Like this is hardcore tuberose. It's really nice. Lots of other flowers, jasmine, roly, ylang. There's almond blossom, I believe as well. But really it's about the tuberose. It reminds me of a little bit of the terracotta le parfum, except this is way more mature and more classic smelling and maybe a little bit tougher to wear. So I get why it may have been discontinued, like it's out there. And it's like, if you're looking for super, super like heavy sillage fragrance, this is it. If you can find it, I think Parfumerie Eternal still has them. I will link it for you guys down below. And I used Robzo 8's um, promo code because I think he, partnered with them earlier and he had a promo code. So I'll put that in the description box as well. I think the promo code is just robes08. There's a little hookup for you. And yeah, so I got 10% off. So that helped out a little bit, but yeah, super cool. If you're not afraid of two bros, like a powerful two bros, this is definitely one to check out. And I actually had no idea that it even existed. So that is my entire Guerlain collection. I kind of want to line these bottles up so you guys can see all of them. So here they all are, all of my beautiful Guerlain fragrances. Just so you guys can see the entire collection and my cat in the background.
When I started recording, I thought that you would be able to see all of my fragrances in front of me on the table, but I can't angle my camera that way and still make the image look good. So I had to show them all to you on their own. And that's it. That's my entire Guerlain collection. Again, don't forget to let me know what you think my next Guerlain purchase should be. I'll be doing a poll on my Instagram and then probably in the beginning of 2021, you'll see what I got. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider buying me a coffee through my buy me a coffee link. Everything is in the description box. And thank you all so much once again. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.